Have you ever wanted to be the boss of a company and then hire all of your friends? Well, in film terms, nobody might come as close to that as Ryan Reynolds. And that boss portraying Marvel's most horrendous character and grossing the worst box offices you will ever see. Now this is the story of Ryan Reynolds' friendships and how it helped to shape what Deadpool 3 is today. After Deadpool's success back in 2016, 20th Century Fox quickly began developing two sequels, with David Leach directing Deadpool 2. And so, the sequel was born on May 18, 2018. Then David showed his interest in making Deadpool 3 as well. But the studio and Reynolds were like, Well David, we're okay with you directing Deadpool 3, but your schedule is so full, can we have a meeting about this? Nah, you're right, I'm out. And so, Deadpool 3 needed a new director, and a script writer. After Reynolds met up with Marvel Studios in October 2019, specifically with its president, Kevin Feige, they started to look for the right fit. As Ryan pitched many ideas, it even led to Feige calling him an idea machine. Oh, relax, Baldilocks. Those ideas ranged from a simple low-budget road trip, to even a film inspired by 1950s Rashomon. Then exactly a year later, in October 2020, Reynolds and Marvel Studios sat down with the Molyneux sisters. They kinda had the same ideas, and so the sisters were hired to write the film with Mr. Sarcasm overlooking the script. In 2021, Free Guy got released, which meant the first collaboration between Reynolds and... The answer is Sean Levy. They became close friends, and so a year later, they produced The Addams Project. But while producing... Wow Levy, you're an awesome guy to work with. Now, I would like to hire you for Deadpool 3, but it's a sequel and unoriginal, so I'm not sure if you're passionate enough, I'm in. Sean Levy was announced as the new director in March 2022. That is friend number one who was hired. Not much after that, Sean himself announced that shooting won't start until after 2022, due to his and Ryan's heavy schedules. Did I leave the stove on? Around that time, the Molyneux sisters had perfected their final version of the script, as Red Rees and Paul Wernick were hired to perfect the details, which was perfected by Reynolds and Levy, which was also perfected by Seb Wells, who perfectly stepped in out of the perfect nowhere. Yet all of a sudden, this happened. Hey Ryan, oh, it's you, my all-time favorite bestie. Can I be a part of the project? Didn't you retire, Wolverine? Yes, but now I changed my mind. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. Ah, you know what? You're my best friend. Let's do it. Hell yeah. You can't do that. That was Wolverine's greatest end in history. Did somebody say something? And so friend number two was announced in September 2022. The irreplaceable Wolverine is back. And helped setting a trio of good friends in place. It still took some time before principal photography began on May 22nd, 2023. There even were rumors of another close friend of Reynolds. Taylor Swift appearing with a small cameo, but it was Swift herself who announced that she was not going to appear in Deadpool 3. Then there was something that all films at that time had suffered from. The actor writer strikes. Filming didn't resume until November 23rd, 2023, and was eventually wrapped up on January 24th this year. But since Swift's cameo didn't happen, you still want to create and fill a third vacancy. If you follow a bit of football, or soccer, you know that since 2020, Reynolds and his pal Rob McElhenney own the Welsh club of Wrexham AFC, who actually do really well. But if two friends weren't enough, of course it's not. And since Ryan produces Deadpool 3, you also give McElhenney a cameo, and talking football matters whilst you're at it. That's the best part of this whole thing. But filming wrapped on January 24th, so what are you gonna do between then and its release date? July 26th in terms of the United States. You go out, marketing, and have some fun. So a bunch of trailers and Deadpool skits were made. You go to Shanghai, Seoul, Rio de Janeiro, and even Berlin, where Reynolds, Jackman, and Levy even enjoyed a good Euros game between Turkey and the Netherlands. What a effing way to make a living. In the end, you have movies produced by colleagues who absolutely hated each other, and movies completed like this we get to see another glance of Hugh Jackman as Wolverine and Ryan Reynolds portraying Deadpool or Deadpool portraying Ryan Reynolds, I can't really tell. Morale and chemistry was at an all-time high and its box office will usually grow larger 
than David Beckham's hairline.